right, what's cracking YouTube? like we got some cans of spray paint, my friends. And not just any can of spray paint. This is a special can of spray paint. This is Temple Pearl Gray spray paint, my friends. And we're gonna use this to paint some parts on my car. Got two cans. A little bit pricey, about $10 for shipping, and then uh, another fee for Venmo, but uh, it's going to be good stuff here, pearl gray. Hopefully this is going to match the color that I'm looking for. You can see it right there. Can't really tell on camera what color gray it is, but we'll see after we spray it. So let's see what happens. First thing we need to do. Let's see, shake. We're gonna apply several thin coats. And uh, yeah, pretty much like as any other kind of um, spray can. So let's get started. Boom. So first thing I'm gonna do is wipe it down with some acetone since it's been sitting for a couple weeks. Get all the dust off of this. We'll do that first. So this is actually, this one's actually primered. This one actually has a coat of paint on it, but it's like a tan color. So I'm trying to go for a, another type of gray. So we'll see how it comes out. Got a lot of wind over here. So I'm hoping that uh, it doesn't blow too much dust on my parts. So I just hit it with a light coat right now. Just one light coat. Come back and uh, hit it again. After this drag, I'll probably wait about 10 minutes. It's gonna be really hard to tell, but this is the color I had before. It was kind of a tannish. And then this is the color I'm painting right now. I, I have a gray primer underneath here. So it's getting closer to the gray that I'm looking for. Uh, so let's see how it looks when I put a second coat on this one. It's a very light coat right now. I can't even see it yet. Still looks tan to me. I have no idea. Maybe because this one has gray primer underneath. That's the gray that's shining through. Let's let this coat dry and then we'll hit it again. I moved this over into the concrete area to hopefully avoid the uh, dust that keeps flying up and getting all over my paint. Can't see it, but there's a bunch of dust on here. So I'm hoping that'll reduce the amount of dust. I should probably wet the driveway. That might help too. All right. But um, I'm not going for perfection here. Just trying to get it done. So let's see. Still have a long way to go on these things but I'm in the shade now so it's kind of hard to tell the color but it is getting a bit more gray I think uh, I should probably put it in the Sun so I could take a look at it but uh, it is getting grayer so that's good that's what I'm looking for and let me show you what I'm really looking for I'm trying to match this here I think it's coming along actually 
if you've seen my build, you've seen this already. That's the gas tank cover. It's actually the color I'm going for right there. So, see how it goes. It is getting closer. Definitely getting closer. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. All right, gonna put on another coat. Probably like the fourth or fifth coat I've put on so far. It's looking pretty good though. It's kind of windy out here, so usually you wouldn't pull the can this close to the object. I don't think you have to put clear coat on this paint. Looks like it's got a gloss built into it. So I'm probably just gonna avoid the clear coat. But maybe I'll hit it with another coat of paint. We'll see. It's kinda hard to paint out here, it's too windy. So we're gonna let that dry. I think that's probably gonna be my final coat. All right, well, hopefully these are somewhat dry. And let's take it in the sun so we can see what it looks like. See if it matches what I'm trying to go for here. What do you think? Let's see. Let's see if we've got what we're going for. There is the gas tank cover. Here is the engine tin. I'll say it's pretty close. I like it. Now the gas tank cover is going to be a little lighter because it's the original paint. It's like, uh, what is this? 50, 53 years old, so it's a fresh coat of gray paint. Um, I'm happy, I'm happy with it. I'm digging it. That gray on the gas tank is flat, it's a flat color. Um, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just paint that to match exactly, but I'm not gonna worry about that. I just wanted to paint the engine tin a gray. That's what I did. So we're good. So it's not perfect. You can see right there where I didn't take off some of the old paint or I don't know if that's rust, whatever it is. It'll do. So we're going on with the project, getting it done. That's what's important. Get it done, my friends. That's all you gotta do. Put this in the sun dry a little bit better.